Well, I think there's some player that played here a few years back. I think her name was uh, Ruth Riley. She got in the Ring of Honor. She was on the national championship team. She played in the WNBA. And she's been the first to be named MVP in the NCAA in the WNBA finals. So, Ruth, I know you're on the phone. What keeps you busy these days, Ruthie? Well, it's great to be on with you guys and celebrating this day. Um, obviously, um, great to, to be a part of this Notre Dame day. And I am at home in Miami right now. Um, Excuse us. Can you send some warm weather up? <laughs> I would love to. Uh, we have a lot to give down here. But um, my life has been busy more off the court than on the court these days, just working with the NBA and um, working with my nonprofit over in South Africa and with the UN Foundation. And so just working this transition as I end my career and uh, enter into life after basketball here in the near future. What inspired you after basketball to become part of this NBA Global Ambassadors? Well, I've just been, I think, my gratitude uh, to the people who have helped me and, you know, just grateful for what I've been given and want to use the platform that I have through sports uh, to help others. And especially when it comes to global health and education for women and children, those are the issues that I'm most passionate about. And, um, you know, sports, I think it, it's it's an avenue that is easy to, to cross over a lot of different barriers. And when I travel, I may not be able to speak their language, but you get on the court and these kids just have a great time and you're able to impact their lives and I absolutely love that. When you go back and look at what happened this season for the Lady Irish, four straight Final Fours in this year the championship game and of course when Ace got hurt that was a big setback. But what did you think of the program and what they did accomplish this year? Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of our girls. Um, just blessed to be a small part of where our program has come and four straight uh, Final Fours is it's a rare feat, and for you know Kayla and the senior class going out to be able to accomplish that, and um, just really grateful for what my time with with Notre with Notre Dame and with Coach McGraw, and have so much respect for her as a coach and what she's done with the program. Let's go back 13 years ago. Uh oh. You are standing at the free throw line. Game's tied with 5.8 seconds left in the national championship on the line. What is going through your mind before you take those free throws? Uh, actually, I've, had, I've been asked this question a few times uh, over the years. And, you know, first, I'm just glad they called the foul. <laughs> yes. The line, having the opportunity to, to shoot a couple of free throws. And honestly, at that moment, you're just thinking, all right, what are my mechanics of a free throw? And you know, I'm not thinking of the magnitude of the situation. I'm just, you know, I mean, for me, it, it was just telling myself, going through my normal routine of how I would shoot a free throw and uh, just focusing on the, the small details. And the big picture kind of took care of itself. When you look at winning that national championship and you look back at your time at Notre Dame as a student athlete, what are you most thankful for? Wow, I mean, I just, I've, I've been so blessed, and I love um, all that Notre Dame embodies. Um, you know, as a student athlete, I enjoyed my experience there and the opportunity to win a national championship, and for that to be my last game in Notre Dame jersey is something absolutely special and I will always cherish. And But I think more than that, as I've gone on to play professionally and traveled around the world, I've been able to interact with the Notre Dame family on a global scale. and. You know, it's just something that other colleges don't have, and I don't say that in a pretentious way, but our Notre Dame family is just something unique, and uh, I've just been blessed to be one member of this great family. If you look at your journey in the last 13 years, and you mentioned the Notre Dame network, if you could look down the road five years from now, ten years from now, what would you like to accomplish? Well, um... Oh, that's a great question. I definitely want to go back into the humanitarian space uh, with more time devoted to that. I love my work with the UN Foundation and with the NBA on a global scale. And I see myself also investing in sports marketing, especially as somebody who's been on the union for our play.
players and continuing to make our league progress and sustainable. Um, having the opportunity to play professional basketball here in the United States is something that I've loved, and I want to continue to grow that for the girls coming up behind me. Well, Ruth, um, thanks so much for joining us on Notre Dame Game Day. But to me, you've always been a special person, and you really typify what a Notre Dame student athlete should be, not just during your college career or WNBA career, but your life after basketball. And we're all proud of you here at Notre Dame. Thanks for being a part of this. Thanks so much, Figger.